Hey, this is Jason with TradingReviewers.com, and today we're joined by David Olivares, founder of TraderSync, a trading journal and analytics platform that we've been testing lately and have been extremely impressed by. David, welcome to the call. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for having us. Hey, David, before we jump into TraderSync, I wanted to learn a bit more about your trading background. How did you initially become interested in trading and, and the stock market? Yeah, well, um, I started about seven years ago when I bought my first few courses and I had an interest about the market. Uh, I started trading and then I was up about 135% of my first few months. So what happened after I was uh, up that much is that my emotions took over. So once my emotions took over, I started put, making bad trades. And then I couldn't recover. So it took me then two months to almost blow up my account. And then I went to my mentor and then I asked him, um, what should I do? And then my mentor was asking me, well, David, I want to ask you a few questions. First question, which setup is working for you? I couldn't answer that question. And then he asked me then, under which conditions uh, are you making profitable trades? I couldn't answer that neither. And then he asked me finally, so let's start at least by telling me, what do you think that is making you lose money? I couldn't answer that question. So with those three questions, I, I kind of had a realization that um, I clearly didn't know what I was doing right or wrong. And if I could answer those questions, well, it's pretty obvious that I could go back uh, to what I was doing right at the beginning and perhaps leave out my emotions. So how, how do we do that is the question. How, how, do, how do we track that? It comes down to a trading journal. You need to track your trades. So I started with uh, using just paper, a notebook, right? Immediately, I saw the benefit because I started writing, I'm gonna enter this trade. So I started writing my book, I'm gonna enter this trade at uh, this price. But then I couldn't answer the question of uh, what was my target and my stop. I, I, I didn't have that answer after I put the trade. So I already immediately saw the benefit that um, I didn't have a plan. I, was, I entered the trade, I was writing what I was doing, and I figured out I didn't have a plan. So I started to um, be more accountable, okay? Now, journaling this on paper was great to start with to, to create accountability for me, but I couldn't get more insight in terms of the aggregated information. Going back to the first question that my mentor asked me was, which setups are working for you? I couldn't answer that because going back in paper, well, you have to add up all your numbers from a, a notebook and then try to figure that out. So it's a lot of work. So then I started to go into Excel because I could answer those aggregated questions through Excel. But then I found myself for months tweaking the Excel so it can give me the answers that I was looking for. So then I gathered with my brother and a few people from my team, and then we say, okay, why don't we just do something? Initially, just for us, because we, just, we wanted to trade, we wanted to get insights, but for us, we, we developed the first version of TraderSync, and then uh, people started asking us, can we have access to, can we have access to? So by then, we opened the access to TraderSync. And then the idea of TraderSync, again, is to answer those questions, those initial questions, and plenty of more. I can get a question. So you don't have to spend um, too much time in your Excel trying to tweak it so it can give you different answers. We just want to give you the answer in plain English so you, you focus on what you do best, which is focus on the setups that they're teaching you, apply those setups, be accountable for what you're doing, and get better at trading. So that was, and that is, I mean, a vision on Trader Seed. It's kind of how we got started. And that was back in 2014 that you originally launched TraderSync, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Well, how much does the current version of the platform resemble TraderSync back in the early days in, in 2014? What have been some of the biggest changes uh, that you guys have made to the platform over that time? Um, so we expanded uh, in terms of which markets do we support. For example, we by now we support crypto, Forex. Uh, but more important than that, is that our vision is how do we answer the key questions? So we have been evolving on how to answer those key questions in an easy to digest uh, manner. For example, we see other journals uh, that might get too complex, at least for our liking. So 
people doesn't want to spend too much time looking at the reports. People just want to know what should I do, what should I do next, right? So our focus or how we have been evolving is on accountability, responsibility. How do we make uh, the trader to be more accountable? So we put a lot of focus uh, among the year in trading management. So we have, a, let's say, a management tool, and we put, we put a lot of focus on that. We have an AI system that will learn from your, your trading management rules, and they will tell you uh, what you should trade or what you should not trade, or perhaps what you should avoid. So that, that's been our main focus. How do we get to the information uh, faster? What should you do uh, right, or what are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? In your mind, what differentiates TraderSync from the other trade journal and analytics platforms that are on the market currently? Great question, again. And it, and it comes back to accountability and a easy to use. Each trader is a different person. Each one, they have different emotions. And according to those emotions, I set up my work for them or I set up my no work for them. So a, our tool is designed in a way that is flexible enough to adapt to potentially most of the different traders or different trading styles out there. So we have multiple um, um, multiple filters, like a numerous of filters that you can apply to your trading journal and you can find the answer that you're looking for. So we differentiate in terms of flexibility and then we create the data accountability. We focus on data accountability by, with this management tool. And at the moment, how frequently are new features and improvements to the platform made? Uh, well, I would say every week. Every week we're deploying new features. Uh, and I would say every, every month we do some major, major releases. For example, next month we hope to bring at least another 70 different reports. But again, with bringing those 70 different reports, more than saying that, yes, we are the journal that uh, we have the most reports, well, what we're trying to do is Yes, we have those reports, but then our system is going to tell you what you, what you should be paying attention to. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to spend time looking at hundreds and hundreds of reports. We just want to tell you the system to tell you, hey, this is a report you should be looking at because uh, we're showing you here why you're losing money, and this is what you should be looking at. So that's uh, the main thing that we're working on right now, and then we hope to release uh, the following month. And as far as the new features go and, and the ongoing development of the platform, how do you guys come up with the, the list of the next things to add? Is that a result of internal, internal brainstorming or uh, does this come from, from user feedback? Well, it initiates with user feedback. Mm -hmm. If a user comes and asks us, maybe it's like, hey, David, uh, or whoever to my team, uh, okay, I uploaded my traits, but I still don't know what to do or what should I be looking at? I still don't quite know what I'm doing wrong. So if our system is not yet answering the questions, uh, those questions for the users, then we keep brainstorming. It's okay, how, how can we do this? How, how can we answer that question uh, for the trader in an easier way? Some traders might get it with some features that we might have, for example, the management feature, but some other traders might not understand that or might not, not, that might not apply to them. So we initiate the, the feature leasing with a, with a user request. So whatever they're telling us that they, don't, they have doubts or, or any suggestions that they might have, that triggers it. And then we come back, we take that to the office here internally with the team, and then we brainstorm, and then we come back with a solution. We put the solution out there, and we ask the person that initiated this uh, idea what do you think of this? Does this answer now the question that you had a, you know, a month ago? And if not, we iterate. We keep iterating until we get to that point and then we keep asking the users, does that really answer your question? Does that really, is it really helping you, right? Again, we don't wanna make a feature just because to say that we have an extra feature, we wanna make something that is actually answering, answering a question and helping you become a better trader. That's great. TraderSync is browser-based, which I personally love that. Uh, you know, there's no software to download and it runs flawlessly on any operating system. You guys also developed a, a mobile app, uh, which is also incredible. It's available for both iOS and Android. When was the mobile app originally introduced? A good question. So we recently, the, the current version that you see of TraderSync, we launched last year. That's version number two. And then the idea of version number two was we want to be able to scale 
more rapidly, bring in more features, or just adapt to the market uh, or to the user's need rapidly. So with that, allow us to create a mobile app, which I think it was launched um, either on December or on, or on January 2020. And okay. then we have a team just dedicated for the mobile app that keeps bringing new features. The idea of the, the, the main goal of the team of the mobile app is to bring the same features that we have on the web. So let's say last month we brought the features of having a calendar on the mobile app and having all the, field, all the filters that we have on um, the web. Now we have it on the mobile app as well. So the mobile app will continue to evolve. How have users received the mobile app? Most of the users doesn't use the mobile app because it's more like a companionship, right? If you're on the go and then um, you need to review your trades, then you can do it, right? But um, most of your time, I'll say 95% of the, your time is gonna be spent on the full blown up uh, app on the browser because that's when you are you can interact with it faster. And then if you're trading, you're in your desktop. So therefore, it's best to have the, the, the web application. But if you're on the go, you're not trading anymore, perhaps it's, it's nighttime, you're sitting on the couch, then you can just use the app to go back to your trades and do some self-reflection. It's a good companionship for, for those, those times. Absolutely. And you mentioned that the, the ultimate goal is to get the, the mobile app kind of on the same page as the uh, as the main browser-based app. Do you have a time frame on you know, development of, of the mobile app? Do you have any idea when you might be uh, kind of up to speed on that? Uh, I honestly don't think it will ever cut up to speed because they, <laughs> we have more, way more people on the uh, focus on the web application where is um, the majority of the people are focusing there. Uh, we believe we have a good enough value right now on the mobile app that sati satisfies at least 90% percent of the needs. I mean, you, can, you could journal any kind of trade there for Forex, for crypto, anything there. You can use your charts there. Uh, I mean, features that we might not have on the mobile are the trading management to create the rules. You can view your rules that you created, you can track them, but you cannot create them on the mobile app. We, we don't foresee anyone doing that on the mobile app, so that's why we don't put that much uh, weight into that. Uh, but we, again, we'll continue to, to try to do that. Uh, and because the web app just goes in a faster rate than the mobile app, it will be a, an endless race. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And you're, you're absolutely correct. They're uh, accessing the app from their desk. You know, the mobile app, it's nice. It's basically supplementary. You know, it's, exactly. it's a supplement yes. to, the, uh, to the main app. So it's nice that you guys offer that. And I'm excited to see how, uh, how it develops going forward. Mm -hmm. Right now, you guys offer four different plans correct? That's right. Yeah. I think that's also great because, you know, a lot of different applications, not just trading journal applications, but, uh, you know, all across the spectrum when it comes to trading, you know, there really aren't a lot of options as far as plans available. Um, and I think you guys have done a great job of making sure that there's something that can fit every user's needs and every user's budget. Can you tell us a little bit briefly about the different plans that you guys have at the moment and also what differentiates them? Yeah, and I started with the, the vision that we have, our mission is like, we, we really want to help every trader that we can to help them avoid a bad trade. So we, we wanna erase the excuse that you cannot afford this uh, to, to journal your trades. Because journaling your trades, if you're a day trader, for example, or even a street queen trader, you need to journal your trades. Mm -hmm. So to erase, a uh, the, the, the excuse from not being able to afford it. Yes, we do have a free plan that pretty much offer you 70% of what we have to offer in the platform. So you have an immense amount of gains just from, your, just from the free plan. Again, you can uh, enter as many trades as you like. You can view the reports. The only thing you can do is you can import your trades. So if you're a heavy day trader that perhaps places, I don't know, six trades a day, and you've been doing this for many years, and you think they might be beneficial that you upload all those trades from all those years, then you might need to upgrade to, let's say, the pro plan. And the pro plan will get you, I would say, to 85% of what we have to offer on the platform. The pro plan allows you to do exactly the same thing that you are allowed to do in the basic plan, but allows you to import your trades. So that's the main uh, difference there. Then we have the premium plan for those that are a little more dedicated to have, we have more reporting tools there. 
that you can get uh, deeper into your analytics and try to understand even better. And we focus a lot on commissions because they say for myself, I am from Canada here, so commissions are extremely expensive. It's like per trade, about $10 per trade. So we don't have as many options as the US. So I want to watch my commissions very uh, closely because, um, well, you just can't eat up your profits. So when you care about that, then you're inclining a little bit more into the premium plan. And then finally, we have the elite plan. The elite plan, we put a features there that attempts to save you time. So that means in the pro plan and in the basic plan, you, you have everything. But if you want to save time on your training journal, then you go, uh, you go for the elite. So what does the elite gonna do for you? For example, it's gonna create automatically your stop and targets. So you don't have to enter that into your journal. You could do that in the basic plan, enter your stop and targets, but it's not automatic. In the elite plan, they say, you say my risk reward is normally one to three. So you set that into the system and every time you enter a trade, the system is gonna automatically enter those for you. So you save time. The same thing does for commissions. For example, if your broker is not telling you in the report, what, which, how much did it cost you to buy that trade? Well, we have something in the elite plan that you can set. Uh, my commissions were, I don't know, $10 per trade. So every time you enter a trade, the, with the elite plan, all your trades are going to have that commission. Uh, things like that. And the manage, finance, financially, the management tool is on the elite plan, which is uh, to get to that point, you need to be, uh, you, need, you need to use your journal a lot. Because in order for the management to work, you really need to use your journal every time you use your place, your trade. So we see it as a graduation process. You start with the basic, you start journaling your trade. There's no excuses for you not to do it. Then once you feel like, okay, I want to save some time, you bump into the for all the premium because you want to import your trades. Now you have been importing your trades, let's say for six months. And now you think, okay, I want to work more on my management, on my responsibility. Then you upgrade to the elite plan, which is going to save you time and it's going to help you focus on your responsibility. But to get to, to the responsibility part, you first need to launch your trades, which is the basic plan. And upgrading to the next level up, it's, it's an easy process for an existing user, correct? Oh, yeah. All you have to do is just click uh, select plan and then the system uh, does it. Uh, the transfer for you. Awesome. Well, David, we're just about out of time for today, but I wanted to ask you one last thing. Is there anything that you can yeah. tell us uh, details perhaps about what's in the pipeline for Trader Sync? Any new feature rollouts planned for the near future? Uh, yeah, for the month of September, uh, what we're working on, like I mentioned before, is uh, uh, focusing on creating more reports. And this report should be answering the question of why. Because sometimes you see they say that you're not performing well at um, 9 a.m. But why you don't perform well at 9 a.m.? No one is really answering you that question. And yes, you could potentially find the answer by digging into those specific trades, but it's very time consuming to really find the answer of why you're not trading well at 9 a.m. So our main goal for the month of September, at least the end of the month of September, is bringing enough reports and, and tools that will help you identify why, without you even asking the why, but we will tell you why you're not performing well at 9, 9 a.m. So that's our main focus for September. Um, yeah, and that will come with numerous of features, but just to answer that why, right? Again, more than features, we care about helping you. So whatever it takes, how many features it takes, we're going to bring that and then we're going to answer those questions and we're going to help you avoid at least one bad trade. Well, I love how you guys have such a strong focus on providing the user with a platform and application that's going to actually help them. The focus is on the user, obviously. You guys get it. And also uh, taking user feedback, how important that is to growing the platform. It seems like you guys have a strong focus on that. And I think that's a big advantage that you have. So thanks again for coming on, David, and, and, uh, and telling us you know, a bit more about yourself and also the TraderSync platform. I think you've done a phenomenal job with the platform and I'm very excited to see how things uh, develop going forward. So that's all for today, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, happy trading.